Hey Libra, Jackie Chalman here. This is your general reading for the week of September 25th, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Libra, remember these are general readings. Uh, they take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Uh, you will find a menu of options over there. All right, Libra, let's get into this. You know, this is a week about getting what you want, and it does indicate that you're on the right path. You might feel a little bit scattered getting there, though. Okay? You may be a little anxious, excited, overwhelmed, all of that all rolled into one. Um, it's asking you to dig for your patience. The sun just jumped out the deck, by the way. Um, somebody you know, someone close to you is coming in for an unexpected offer of assistance. Part of getting what you want is something that you've been manifesting since spring of this year. Okay. What you've been manifesting since spring is now coming into fruition. There's been a lesson well learned. Get ready for a fast pace. Hello, Gene W. Particularly intensity and love and reuniting with someone from the past. Okay. Like I said, some scattered energy. Some of you, um, it's been a lesson well learned. All right, let's get into these energies here, okay? We're going to start with the lovers. We have the Nine of Swords, and we have the High Priestess. So, Libra, what we're talking about here is we're talking about the lovers and the intensity in love. Now, this applies to you whether you're single and or a couple, Okay, and I'm, I am talking to you about the, the loss of sleep. There is scattered energy around you. It's going to create a loss of sleep. This high priestess says you're grounded, you're centered, you got this. Bottom line is you got this, okay? But it also shows you're very intuitive and you're having a hard time tapping in and trusting that intuition. It's almost like one of those energies I want to say, it's it's too good to be true. Does that make sense? So you're having a hard time trusting your energies. Now I am hearing the name Bo. B-O. Bo. All right. Jumpers. There it is. The Hermit. The Jiggity. Yes. On the right path. Yes. You are on the right path, but you're on a path that is less traveled. Okay. There is the full card energy coming up in the center of the reading. That full card energy is talking about um, you jumping into something with both feet. You're happy, go lucky, you're traveling light. You're jumping into something with both feet. And right beside that, bringing out the magician, the highest tarot card in the deck, your yes answer. What I said, get everything you want. It might be psychic, who knows? Um, it's getting everything you want and desire. It's all, you know, right there waiting for you. We have judgment. So we've got four major arcanas, five major arcanas right here. Six major arcanas right here. Okay. With the judgment card of do not pass judgment out on someone too quickly. You're going to be wrong if you do. Okay. And with that, we have... Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, if you've got financial concerns, which, Libra, I really don't think you do, but there's some kind of a good business deal or new money coming into play. But I need you to know that that Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. And for whatever reason, I see, like, maybe it's birthday decorations that I see, but for whatever reason, I'm seeing decorations of, like, that of a parade or a birthday or something like that. So I'll throw that out there as well. Three of swords, three is a crowd, third party, unwanted advice and or opinions. Be warned of that as you progress through this week. Okay. Now, let's get into some more messages with these current messages. And we're going to start while the lover's card is here. Let's dig in a little bit deeper. Why is the lover's card here? Why is the lover's card here? The lover's card is here. The four of pentacles. Keeping something to yourself. Thank you, my dear. 
She's getting my granddaughter off the bus. Four of Pentacles, keeping some things to yourself, thoughts, ideas, and their opinions. Some of you looking at a new pet, particularly a cat, I'm going to say go for it. Go for it. Nine of Swords, the lovers, the lovers beside the lovers. It's causing a loss of sleep. There is intensity here. There's the letter T. There's the letter Y. Love is in the air. That high priestess energy is coming in with the page of cups. The page of cups, there it is. The unexpected offer of love. I really want to throw out the word unexpected. Uh, some of these, this third party energy, I'm seeing divorce or divorce papers. So perhaps they were in a third party or that third party is still lingering. Uh, but something to do with someone going through a divorce. I want to throw that out there. And then we have temperance. Temperance is talking about Sagittarius energy. This is talking about doing things differently. Doing the same thing, you get the same result. Just doing things differently. Okay? Then we have the full card energy coming with that hair font. Y'all got lots and lots of major arcanas to describe the energy that you're working with here that week of the 25th. It is incredible. It's amazing. Okay? It's talking about... For whatever reason, I think you've, what you've been, like I said, what you've been manifesting in, since spring is now coming into fruition. Yes, I do. The tower. You see the tower out front? That's where it is. And we have, um, you will continue to manifest. So keep your thoughts, energy, high, positive. You know, Alicia, one of our... Um, Chatters here is a perfect example of act as if you have what you want and it will be. Okay. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also have a secret admirer that has not come forward as of yet. M seeing the letter M. On that judgment card comes the two of pentacles. You need to also quit worrying about what the other people are thinking about you, okay? If you're juggling a little bit financially, those days are almost over. You know, this beside the Knight of Pentacles is going to be slow moving, but those days are almost over. Pinata. I'm seeing a pinata. So there's definitely some kind of party or celebration going on here, okay? Now, with that Knight of Pentacles, we have, again, the full card energy. You're getting ready to jump into something with both feet. You know, hit the ground running. I say go for it. There's no reason here to hold yourself back in any form or fashion. Three of Swords comes out with that King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? It doesn't have to be. But this is someone pretty grounded, pretty centered, you know, and and offering up some sound advice. Sound advice. Could be offering you a job. We'll throw that out there, too. Loss of sleep. It's there. You're bajiggity. Knight of Cups. More than one offer of love coming into play. The Nine of Wands. There's the bajiggity card. Like the third time in this reading. And we're going to close with a chariot. The chariot, your yes answer, getting everything you want, getting everything you desire when you least expect it. And yeah, so that gives you a magician and a chariot trumping your whole reading. All righty, let's throw down some Kipper. See what else you need to know. Y'all have had some amazing energy going on in this reading. Amazing. Definitely getting what you want. Very easy week. A very easy week. Very much has a natural flow to it. Very much one of those weeks that things just kind of line up and fall in place for you. Okay. Unexpected company. Get ready. Message of concern to deal with. Work is work. I'm still saying some of y'all might get an unexpected offer. We have the lover's card here reiterating the intensity and in love. Sudden wealth. Don't worry about money. 
Seeing ones with the new beginnings. Two, one, one, four, four, one, 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 one. Lots of ones for a new beginning. Closing the door to one, opening a new door. A close female, female close to you, may offer up a gift of flowers as well as some sound advice. You can expect date night to be planned. Solid advice from an older woman. You're going to have to stop and deal with some BS, is what I want to call it. Some messages, somebody threatening to take you to court, some, something there that you've overlooked. You're going to have to stop to deal with. That's the only negative thing I see. I mean, it is a week of getting what you want. Like I said, you're sitting on the magician. You're sitting on the chariot. It doesn't get better than this. This is beautiful energy. So move forward with whatever you wish to do. All righty. That's what I have for my Libras. Thank you for watching. Uh, logging off and coming right back with Scorpios. Guys, don't forget, cross watchers are welcome on all of my videos. And I will be live tonight at 7 with this current week of the 18th with the reading for the week. So, see you soon.